Mr Strait in. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, can I also associate myself with the remembrance today of PC Palmer and the other victims we lost on that day? I remember coming out of Westminster Tube at exactly this time, that, t that four years ago, and saw the aftermath of that dreadful terrorist attack. Mr Speaker, I welcome the reopening of the uh, Violence Against Women and Girls call for evidence, which I believe now closes this Friday, the 26th of March, and I would encourage as many people to have their say as possible. Does my right honourable friend agree with me that it is vital that we listen to victims of violence and all women and girls to really understand their experiences in their daily lives so that we can ensure that the strategy that the government finally uh, introduces does tackle violence, harassment and abuse of women and girls? Well, my own friend is absolutely right, and I would like to echo her calls to continue the encouragement for people to respond to the survey. Mr Speaker, we've already had in excess of 135,000 people write into the survey since it's been reopened. But there's a fundamental point here. By having people join that consultation, to join that public survey, we want their views, because their views matter but also their personal experiences matter. And it's personal experiences and insights, whether or not you've been a victim, which is always a terrible, terrible thing, but also if you've interacted with this system, and it could be the criminal justice system, or it could be victim support services, or it could be the police, it could be any aspect of the system, that that comes together so that we can have the right type of approach that gives voice and also gives strength to the type of policies and the legislation that we bring forward.